Hello, my beautiful Aquariuses. My name is Jennifer from jenniferwalkerzen.com, here to bring your weekly forecast for June 29th to July 6th. Okay, guys? So this is going to be for singles, couples, or anyone in between, or anyone who needs love messages. So if I accidentally say, like, um, you know, a partner, what I mean is love interest. Okay, so just want to make you know that. And if I accidentally say 2018 instead of 2019, spirits know because of the fact that my intentions are 2019. So I want to put that out there as well. Sometimes I do still make that mistake 2018 instead of 2019. So it is about our intentions, you know, whenever we do a reading and the questions are being asked, but spirit knows what our intentions are. Okay, so. And also, um, guys, these are general love messages. They're not going to resonate with everyone. So check your moon, your rising, your Venus sign for more information. As well as you can get a personal reading with me by going to my website, jenniferwalkerson.com, or check out the description box below. Okay, so I want to draw upon your energies right now. And then we're going to do each day, as we always do with the weeklies, break it down uh, overall with the Celtic Cross. Um, and then the outcome, who's coming towards you, and romance angels. So stick with me till the end. It'll all make sense. Okay, Aquarius is. There is some messages coming in about a person from your past. Uh, and it's going to be messages pertaining to them wanting to be with you passionately. Okay, or some of you, wherever that resonates with. Okay, <laughs> all right. So let's jump right in. Um, all right, so what's going on my Aquarius is romantic love life for June 29th, 30th, July 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, and 6th, please. Show my cards I need to see, show my cards I need to see. Okay, lay these down. All right, let's see what's going on here with the, the tarot. What's going on, my Aquarius's romantic love life for the week of June 29th, 30th, July 1st, 2nd, come on, spirit, July 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, and 6th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see for this time period. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Tell me when to stop. Thank you. Okay. So now let's see what's going on with your love interest, Aquarius. What's going on, my Aquarius? Is love interest for July? Excuse me, June 29th, 30th, July 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, and 6th. Please show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. There we go. Interesting. Okay, so on the 29th, it looks like Spirit is saying to you to have confidence on this day. Um, I think that you're having the energy here of the Six of Pentacles. You're feeling like maybe you're not getting equal give and take, but if you look at this card here, this person is completely balancing these pentacles. So there is a balance here on this situation, okay? They're balancing this. Um, and this person that you're dealing with, your love interest, sees you as an ideal partner, the magician, and has all the, you, they feel like you have all the tools they need. So have confidence here on this day of the 29th, okay? All right, so we, I only clarify as a need, so just be aware of that. Okay, so, ooh. Take time in making this decision. What decision is that? Well, hierophants, okay? Something to do with commitment, long-term commitment, marriage here, tradition with the hierophant card. All right, it looks like something sudden has happened in your partner's or your love interest romantic love life with the tower. Winning the lottery, sudden event. Car breaking down, sudden event. Tower card, there you go. Something suddenly changed within them. And now you're gonna have to take time. And you, the spirit's like suggesting, don't move this too quickly. Just take time, okay, to make this decision before moving forward with this. And at the end, don't worry, we'll get the overall. So stick with me till the end. All right, so on this day of the first, Spirit is saying just, you know, be careful about, you know, what you're eating on this day, you know, be cognizant of, you know, um, keeping yourself emotionally balanced on this day, focus on the divine health. 
And I see that you're in hermit mode anyway on this day. Um, you're kind of taking some time out to kind of think about soul search things, you know, with the Virgo card here, actually, with the Hierophant card, excuse me, the Hermit card. Um, and your love interest is ready to take a leap of faith towards you or a leap of faith towards something new here with the full card. So let's keep it moving. Okay. So now we got, hmm, interesting. So on the second, uh, the person you're asking about is trustworthy because it looks like you have the six of wands energy. It's something to do with about a recognized victory healing. It's interesting because the person that you're dealing with, your love interest has the five of wands energy. So they're in like the five mode which is, you know, disputes, arguments, competition, options. You're in the healing mode, the Six of Wands energy, you know, a recognized victory, healing kind of energy. So the person you're asking about is trustworthy. You are getting a recognized victory when it comes to this, okay, with the situation. Um, your love interest is coming out as the Five of Wands, so maybe they're trying to do some kind of arguing with you or disputes or they're looking at their options or competition here and you know not feeling too good about it okay so now we got the third okay the third so spirit is saying to you you know be you know be aware that you're being watched over by angels okay you and your children and if you don't have children your family okay so Seven of Cups energy tells me that you're really looking over your options here. I mean, you're literally like, kind of like, what do I need to do? This person's like leaning over like, what do I need to do? Okay, who is the best option for me? Seven of Cups energy. And because of this, your love interest is feeling like they are left out in the cold, five of pentacles, the whole situation. Okay. All right, let's keep this moving here. All right, so now we're looking at the fourth. interesting so life purpose here this is your life purpose here with this card okay so you have the energy of the knight of wands the knight of wands is here moving towards a passion here aries sagittarius leo energy okay knight of wands energy obviously this card says prince but this deck is actually for knights princes is for pages prince for knights so this is the knight of wands could be a Leo. I see the, the lion really strongly here and the sun in the background. Okay. Um, your love interest is kind of contemplating towards Virgo Capricorn with like a nurturing kind of energy. Is this really who I want to give my pentacle to? You know, it's a patient energy just kind of contemplating. Is this really a good long-term situation for me? So it looks like some kind of movement towards passion here. Spirit's like it's your life purpose. Maybe you're not ready to co quite commit here. Um, and this person's uh, in contemplation about why you're not ready to commit here with the Knight of Wands energy. You're just looking like you want to move towards your passion here in this day, or you're dealing with a fire sign person. Alrighty, so let's do the fifth and the sixth here. Interesting. Both of you have the same energy on this day. You and your love interest, there is some kind of choice being made here. But interesting enough, they're on their uh, side, uh, they have multiple people kind of helping them out with their choice. And you're just standing alone, like, I'm just gonna go with what I think is my passion here. This other person's like taking a gamble, like, all right. Because you see there's like card playing going on here. Um, that spirit says on this day, have a sense of humor. <laughs> That's pretty funny, actually. <laughs> so a choice is going to be made to be made on that day, on the 5th of July. So let's see what's going on on the 6th of July. So it looks like um, they want you to write down your thoughts um, and your feelings here on this day. Kind of take some time out. It looks like you possibly could be dealing with a water sign here, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. You're trying to make a wise choice when it comes to, to love here, or you feel like the person you're dealing with is a wise choice when it comes to love, or they feel like you're a wise choice when it comes to love, King Cups energy. And it looks like you make your love interest happy with the Sun card, or there's something to do with you being happy or them being happy with you. Oh, that's so nice. 
All right, so let's see what's going on in the overall here. Here, here. <laughs> Pronunciations here. All right. So it looks like there's a choice pertaining to some kind of long-term commitment marriage here. And somebody is contemplating, is this a good choice? It could be a water sign here and a fire sign. Someone is figuring out, do they want to put the work into this? Um, but there is a lot of, my hands are tied here. I don't know what to do about this situation. Does this person make me happy? Am I feeling passionate about them? All right. Can I have some understanding of what's going on in my Aquarius's current romantic love life for the time period of June 29th to July 6th? What's going on with their current romantic love life? What's their blockage for this time period? What's the strength of this time period for their romantic love life? What's something from the past effect of the current love state? Who's coming towards them romantically that they'd be interested in? And what's going to be the overall outcome for their this time period for Aquarius's for their romantic love life for June 29th to July 6th? Thank you. All right, current blockage. Strength. Who's from the past? Who's coming towards you? Yeah, I kind of figured that was going to be the outcome here. One more card. Ugh. Someone's trying to decide do they want to stand up and fight or walk away. And they're trying to gain some kind of, they're choosing their head over their heart here. Obviously, this is your energy because of the King of Swords here, Aquarius about a choice towards love soul main connection and some kind of messages about someone being an ideal partner okay so three of pentacles is going on with the current so it's something to do with putting the work in teamwork or obviously there's another choice here i think there's another choice here i feel there's another choice here so there's a couple of options here maybe one could be work three of pentacles or it could just be because of the fact that there's multiple people here and the reason i say that also is because the blockage is the devil card bondage addiction depression procrastination something not quite right there with the devil card which is blocking things so your strength is taurus Virgo, capricorn knight of pentacles take your time and move into something long term you know really be patient contemplate this what do you want here okay um, something from the past that affect your current love state. Possibly you took a leap of faith towards something new with the full card or someone took a leap of faith towards you. Saw you as a new potential there. The person coming towards you is confused. The moon card. Something's hidden here with the moon card. I'm going to clarify that. Okay, so some kind of confusion going on here. Why? Why is there confusion going on here? Because someone is not being honest about a choice here. Two of pentacles about weighing options about putting the work in eight of pentacles or something surrounding work or apprenticeship or school here someone is feeling really indecisive about what to do here okay so i want to clarify this why is the moon card here 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 someone's feeling really defensive when it comes to love pertaining to their happiness ten of cups because they don't want to get left out in the cold five of pentacles why is the devil card here why is the devil card here why is the devil card here? This has to do with someone's happiness here. The devil card is here because of someone's happiness or a Leo pertaining to um, long-term commitment marriage. So maybe someone's married here. Um, they have to make a choice to wands energy. Okay. So I want to get some advice for you guys because this seems like a very complex situation here. Um, okay. Can I have some advice for my Aquariuses for their romantic love life of what they should do, please, for the week of June 29th till July 6th, please? Show me the card I need to see. Show me the card I need to see. Okay, so there's something pertaining to engagement and uh, honeymoon. So something surrounding some kind of long-term thing something to do with revealing something here about some kind of playfulness and re recapturing something. I want to kind of get another card here. All right. I want a little bit more information because this seems like it's like a lot of options being weighed here and all this moon stuff and all this pop potential third party thing going on here. Let me just see what's going on. Can I have a little bit more information about what Aquarius should do for their romantic love life pertaining to the situation? Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards you need to see for this week, please. Coming up. So they're saying you deserve love. 
let go of control issues and allow situations to unfold naturally. Okay, that resonates with me more. Uh, true love, okay. Um, you deserve love, let go of control issues. There is true love here, okay? Because it, it seems to me like someone's not being honest about a choice. So if there's not another person here, someone's not being honest about the fact that they're weighing options. They're weighing options about putting the work in and this like this indecisive energy. So, um, and obviously, you know, I see that there's love here and their, their strength is some kind of long-term commitment, a potential for some kind of long-term commitment with the Knight of Pentacles. But someone's either bondage, addiction, depression, procrastination in making this decision, or it's because, because of the fact there's another choice here. But uh, it's definitely saying to me that, you know, there's true love here. You deserve love. Allow things to unfold naturally and go with it, okay? Take your time if you have to on this making this decision, weighing this option, but there is true love here, okay? All right, my Aquariuses, I love you guys so much. And if you would like me to draw upon your personal energies for a personal reading, because remember, these are not going to resonate with everyone, you can go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com, or check out the description box below. Thank you guys so much. I love you.